Planet Dolan. From feeding your teachers hash brownies to faking your death to torment your ex-wife, we count nine pranks that went horribly wrong. Number nine. Cross-dressing doll gets security officer the sack. In 1990, Toys R Us night watchman Ron Zero decided to spice up his shift. Not with hash brownies, but by dressing up one of the Ken dolls in Barbie's clothes. Seems like a harmless enough prank. Until customer Karina Gulat and her daughter Jocelyn caught sight of the doll and thought they had a rare collector's item. And of course, the cashier didn't dissuade them, cause why would the cashier give a shit? Not long after, the pair was offered a cool four grand for their rare find. The story quickly went national and the bored night watchman was forced to own up to his gag. The whole stupid thing caused such a drama that Ron was fired four days later. The moral? Don't play with dolls if you're an adult, alright? It's just fucking weird. Unless they're collectible anime figurines. Those are for full grown adults and I don't have a problem, mom! Number 8. Co worker set a light for announcing wedding. Forget strippers and beer, in 2010, Concreter Gianni Catanzaro had a different kind of bachelor party experience, one that resembled torture. On the eve of his wedding, Gianni was grabbed by two of his co-workers, punched in the groin, and had his hands and legs bound with duct tape. You know, standard friend stuff, doing him a favor. His supervisor, Leonardo Zaccardelli, hacked off Gianni's clothes with a knife and pelted him with eggs while he stood in his underwear. That was gonna be the end of the prank, but Zaccardelli took it too far, pouring petrol at Gianni Gianni's feet and setting it alight. Gianni couldn't get away and had his legs badly burnt. This put Gianni in a wheelchair and he had to be taken to a hospital nearly every day. His wedding and honeymoon were ruined and it took him so long to recover from his burns that he lost his job. The two workers responsible were fined and received good behavior bonds, so I guess they were good boys and got out a little bit early. Huh. That's nice. I mean, sure, you brutally assaulted a guy and nearly ruined his life, but you're a good boy in jail, so we give you a little bit of a break. Number 7. Dentist gets caught turning patient into a pig. Dr. Robert Wu is a dentist with a strange sense of humor. While doing light dental work on an employee, he decided to install a pair of false boar tusks over her teeth. The gag was a bit of an inside joke, as this particular employee had grown up on a pig farm. Wu took a photo of his tusked patient while she was still unconscious, then took out the tusk and replaced them with the usual caps. No harm done. Wu just couldn't resist sharing the pictures with the rest of the office. But when Miss Temporary Piggy found out, she was not amused and sued her boss for $250,000. Wu's insurance company refused to cover the suit, so Wu sued them, forcing them to fork out $750,000. So I guess it was the insurance company that got pranked in the end. Everybody else made out like a fucking bandit. Number 6. Heart attack induced by false deadline. Glenn Hallett was a London City Hall worker and textbook workaholic who could always be seen racing around trying to meet deadlines. While on holiday, Glenn received a memo that the stressful report he'd been working on was actually due two weeks earlier than he'd planned for. Returning home, Glenn and his workers raced to meet the impossible deadline. The sheer stress he experienced was so great that he collapsed from a suspected heart attack. From his hospital bed, Glenn apologized for failing to meet the deadline and applied for a dishonorable early retirement. The pranksters were then forced to inform him about their hilarious joke. Glenn promptly sued City Hall for damages and weeks later a memo was sent out discouraging workers from pulling pranks. And the memo was sent out on April 1st. Number 5. Hash Brownies Take Out Entire Staff at the end of their last year of school, Joseph Tenili and Ian Walker decided to bake all their teachers some brownies as a parting gift. But these brownies had a secret ingredient, and no, it wasn't love. But unfortunately, these teachers never experienced the wonders of hash cakes before. So within hours, all 19 staff members became ill and had to be rushed to the emergency room. While the teachers were tripping balls in the hospital, the students were ordered to do volunteer work. Number 4. Man convinces ex-wife he hung himself. In 2004, angry lunatic Randy Wood instructed his ex-wife to come over because he had something to show her. She had moved on since her separation, but Woody had one last emotional head game to play with her. On her arrival, she discovered her late ex-husband hanging by a noose from a tree in the front yard. Distressed and probably feeling responsible, she quickly dialed 911. Soon after, a whole crowd of cops, firemen, and paramedics arrived. As the firemen cut Wood down, they discovered he was totally fine and that he was supporting his body weight with a concealed harness. Randy Wood found the grief of his ex-wife hysterical, but he didn't enjoy his $1,000 fine or year in jail. Number 3. Dead Dog on Car Prank 
Dog lovers, you might want to turn away for this one. In 2004, Paul Gooby played a disturbingly sick practical joke on his co-worker Kevin Malloy. He somehow got hold of a dead chihuahua and tied it to his co-worker's car bumper. Kevin, who was hard of hearing, was completely unaware of the deceased animal flopping about at the rear of his vehicle. He drove for miles and failed to notice the disgusted honks of angry motorists around him. Eventually, Kevin became aware of his deceased passenger and alerted the police. Paul was charged with unlawful disposal of a dead animal and being a dick. Number 2. Fake Press Release Causes Financial Crisis on August 25th, 2000, financial journalists received credible word that Emulex Corp had announced that they revised their earnings and were being investigated for accounting irregularities resulting in the stepping down of its CEO. Because of the news, the company's stock plummeted from $113.06 to $43 in the space of two hours. Furious shareholders demanded to know why they hadn't been consulted. No one at Emulex had been consulted because the whole thing was a fake. The CEO wasn't leaving, the earnings were fine, and there was no impending investigation. It turned out 23-year-old Mark Jacoba made the fake leak while interning at a small internet news company. He stood to make a profit and thought the ensuing chaos would be hilarious. He reportedly didn't enjoy his jail time, but I find that hard to believe. Jail's full of pranksters. Number 1. High School Prank Deemed Act of Terror on the last day of high school, Tyel Morton played a practical joke that almost landed him in the slammer. He snuck into the girls' changing room through a window and put a sex doll in the showers. Unfortunately, his shenanigans backfired in a big way as someone saw him climbing through the window dressed in a hoodie and gloves carrying a big black box. They immediately assumed he was planting a bomb, so the Indiana Police Bomb Squad were called in and the school was evacuated. Tyel Morton was arrested and charged with institutional criminal mischief, which could have cost him eight years in prison. Lucky for him, he only received a suspended sentence and a few weeks of community service. The sex doll is still at large. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Brittany Bazungas, please contact Planet Dolan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Did you enjoy the video? That's fantastic. Did you know we still have a gaming channel? Collaborative. It's for Planet Dolan. Come look at us as we play some video games. Like animation? Have some questions about life and the universe you need answered? Come check out Super Planet Dolan. Danger Dolan and I will answer your life questions. Links are down below.